What's up, you guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If I'm a familiar face, hey girl, hey boy. If I'm not, you already know what you need to do. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, so as you guys can already tell by the title, I am doing a reading of assumptions about me, you guys. So these are just assumptions, and I'm going to see if you guys' assumptions are correct or not. I've been asked these questions a really long time ago. I'm just now getting around to actually filming the video. As you guys can see, I'm in my bed chilling, laying down because I wasn't even going to film this video. But I just got my hair done, so I was like, girl, why not film a video? Like, why not? Like, it's not going to hurt. So here I am laying down in my comfort zone and I'm gonna be answering you guys questions. Well, assumptions. So we just wanna get straight into it. Some of you guys put the same assumptions and it was a really lot of assumptions. So I just picked like the first few that I seen that were really good and was gonna answer them. Just only a couple, I only have like nine because some of y'all was saying the same thing. Okay, so the first assumption is I'm shy so okay yeah it's like a 50 50 okay so with me like I am shy but I know how to get out my comfort zone if that makes sense what it does make sense but yeah like I'm shy like when I was younger I used to really 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 be shy but like now that I'm older and like what I want to do in life in my career field I have to you know break out that shell and you know not be shy you know I have to get out there and I have to you know socialize and communicate and you know network with people because my career job and what I want to do in life is I have to do that like there's no way around it so like now I'm like to the point to where you know I could like hold a conversation not be shy you know be giggling and laughing and stuff well I still be giggling and laughing but I feel like I'm not as shy as I used to be when I was way younger Okay, so the next one is stuck up. You guys, I am not stuck up. A lot of people say that I'm stuck up, but like if you truly and really know me, I'm not stuck up. Like I'm not stuck up at all. Like I'm really, I feel like, well, I really feel like I'm a nice, cool, chill person. Like I don't think I'm stuck up. Like, mm -mm, like don't talk to me type stuff. Like no, like. I feel like people who give up stuck up vibes and they like, you know, they feel like they're above everybody. And I don't think I feel like I'm above anybody. Like I treat everybody the same. I ain't I ain't Hollywood. I ain't I ain't no celebrity, so there's no reason for me to be stuck up. I'm never stuck up. So if I've been kinda stuck up to you, it's because I either didn't like you and you're a dude and I didn't want to talk to you. So that's the only reason why I'll be stuck up. Okay, so the next one is um I'm spoiled. No, no, I said it back. I am spoiled. Yes, I am spoiled. I know, I know, I know. I'm spoiled. A lot of people always say like, oh my gosh, you're spoiled. Like, oh my gosh, you're this, you're this, you're that. Which kind of goes into the other assumption that somebody made that I'm rich. Like y'all, I wouldn't say I'm rich. It's just I'm blessed. I'm really blessed to have both of my parents who could provide my needs and my wants. And, you know and everything and more so if anything i wouldn't say i'm rich i'm just blessed to have the type of parents that i have to have the type of family that i have so i wouldn't say i'm rich i'm just blessed and highly favored and i just thank god for everything that i have because i'm really blessed and i'm really fortunate but a lot of people do say like oh you're spoiled or you're your um your silver spoon fed or this and that there and a lot of people get silver spoon fed mixed up with my parents doing their job so it's a difference between getting silver spoon fed and my parents doing their job so yeah you guys don't get the two mixed up i'm gonna spoil my kids as well but i'm not to spoil i'm not spoiled to the point to where i'm a brat like when i don't get whatever i want i just do this i just i kind of do but no 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 not to that point like i'm not a brat with it like be bratty and like a drama queen when i don't get whatever i want I'm spoiled, but I know how to get out here and, you know, get it, if you get what I'm saying. So, the next assumption is you love hard. Yes, I do love hard. It's like, I don't know, like, if I really care about a person. And this don't have to be, like, just relationship-wise, meaning 
with a partner this is for like any relationship friendship anything like if i love you i love you and i'm saying i love you and i mean if i tell you that i love you then i mean it. but yes i do love hard like i do but this just goes for anything relationship any type of relationship like friendship or anything like if i say i love you then i got you and that's just on period the next one, well, this is kind of like the same one, but loyalty. I am very big on loyalty. Like, people always say, like, Sanaa, like, you always big on loyalty, big on loyalty, because I am, like, I would rather have loyalty. Like, what, what, Tony said, I'd rather have loyalty, love, you know, they don't need that. I'd rather have somebody, like, be loyal to me, because somebody can love you, and they can still stab you in your back. They can still talk about you. They can still do you wrong. But if somebody loyal to you, they true to you. And they gonna have your back no matter what. They ain't gonna let nobody talk about you. They ain't gonna let nobody do this, 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 this. They ain't gonna let nobody do nothing. They gonna keep it 100 with you. Keep it a stack with you. Keep it a buck with you. And they just gonna like keep it real with you. If you're not loyal to me, then I can't trust you. And if I mess with somebody really hard, I'm gonna be loyal to you no matter what. I'm gonna have your back. So I would want somebody to do the same for me. So if you're not loyal to me, then how I know you won't try to sneak me? How I, want, how I know you ain't not try to slap me? I know that you won't be do this and you won't do this and you won't do that you won't do this so yes to answer your assumption i am really big on loyalty forget the love i'm big on loyalty and that's just that on that okay so another assumption is i'm not humble your girl is very humble i'm very humble because i know it's a lot of people out there who aren't fortunate as me so it's like i don't try to like flex so i don't try to like stun on people or try to like brag i feel like that kind of like plays a part in like not being humble i'm very humble and i'm very grateful for the things that i have i'm really blessed for everything that i have but when it's time for me to pop my ish i'm gonna pop my ish that's just that on that it's nothing wrong with you know what i'm saying pop, popping your collar a little bit it ain't nothing wrong with that but i'm very humble i'm not the type to like sit up there and like brag and like flex and stuff like that I used to not be humble. Well, I feel like as little kids, like, you know, you just flex with money. Like, everybody was flexing with money, flexing with what they had and stuff like that. That's why I don't, like, really show, like, my stuff that I get because people tend to think, like, oh, like, she's a show-off or she's not humble. Like, she's not this, she's not that. But I was like, I mean, it's, I feel like it's no harm. I'm just showing your things, like, unboxing videos and stuff like that. But people tend to, like, take things the wrong way saying like you're not being humble you're not being this you're not being that so yeah that's just that on that but i'm very humble very grounded very down to earth and content with myself so yeah this one is you're mean and not cool wow <laughs> oh my gosh i'm very cool like I feel like if anybody met me in person, they would really say, like, I'm a cool person, like, chill person. Like, I'm really, how would I describe myself, actually? I would describe myself as, like, a chill person when it's time to get lit. Like, I'm, like, like, a Cajun person. Like, when it's time to get lit, I get lit. When it's time to turn up, it's time, I always turn up. When it's time to chill, I chill. Like, it's just, like, you know, you never know what type of version you're going to get of me. But I feel like I'm very cool. I'm very chill. And like, I kind of feel like these questions, y'all kind of like, it, like these assumptions y'all asking them, like, I'm just like some type of celebrity or something, but these are assumptions that I mean, you guys assumed and you are incorrect. I am very cool. I think I'm actually very cool. Very rock star-ish. Let me stop. But I feel like I'm, I'm a chill person, you know, um, I feel like I'm a five, you know what I'm saying? Like. I just be chilling. I just be cooling. You know what I'm saying? I don't be doing too much. I don't do too much. I do be doing too much. I do be kind of be extra. But I feel like overall, to answer your assumption, I feel like I'm a very chill, cool person. And no, I'm not mean. If I'm mean to you, you gave me a reason to be mean to you. Okay, so the next one is your bougie. Mm. I, I don't think I'm bougie. I just think I carry myself to a certain standard and I feel like everybody should carry their stuff to a certain standard as well, a certain caliber. Because like I it's it's okay, people confuse bougie with being confident and confidence with being cocky. Like it's not being cocky, it's like confidence. 
you know so I set myself and like I carry myself with a different demeanor a different caliber a different you know point so people think like oh you're bougie you're this you're that but no that's just how I am how I was raised you know so people are like oh you're bougie you act sadidi it's not that that's just how I am you know if that makes sense y'all I hope I'm really answering these assumptions really good because I don't watch other people assumptions and I feel like I'm answering it. It's really like yes or no and like doing a little bit explaining because it's kind of late at night y'all and like my brain just all over the place too. Let's get back to it. Um, I assume that you don't argue. I don't argue. I don't argue. I used to like I used to be the type to where I get the last word to me and the person keep going back and forth like mm-hmm they be like mm-hmm I be like mm-hmm they be like mm-hmm I be like mm-hmm they be like mm -hmm. yeah like I used to be that type but I'm not that type I'm not gonna argue with nobody I'm not arguing with nobody I'm not going back and forth with nobody you say what you had to say and I had to say what I had to say and I leave it at that I'm not gonna go back and forth with anybody okay I'm not that block button works so the block button does me wonder and if somebody when we face to face arguing i'm not gonna go back and forth i'm gonna let you say what you had to say and i say what i have to say you say something to say i'm done you done talking me too check please period we ain't doing no arguments when we do boo i assume that you are friendly um i'm not i don't know am i friendly I'm not friend. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I say I'm friendly. Like, I will say I'm friendly. There's no reason for me to be stuck up or exadity. So, like, I say like I'm friendly. Like, if like, let me think of a time like in school and stuff like that. Like, when it was like a new girl coming into school or whatever. Like, I used to be like trying to be like friendly. Be like, oh hey, like my name is Sana, and like. This is a class, this is what we doing, like this is how the teacher is, this is this, this is her, this is him, like I be like trying to be like friendly, like make people comfortable and stuff, you know? So I think I really am friendly because like whenever I like meet a new person and stuff, I kinda just, you know, try to make them feel comfortable, you know? But just like in general, like with anybody, like I be like, okay, like you wanna you wanna get my Instagram, you wanna follow me, like you wanna subscribe to my YouTube channel, like that's how I be like kinda like that type of friendly promoting myself in a way okay so the next one is um assume i didn't go to college <laughs> why are you getting on me like that like why are, why are my business why are my business but um the reason why i did this assumption video is because i feel like you guys don't really know much about me if you watch my vlogs then i feel like you will know more about me but if you just watch like my sit down videos you guys don't really know much about me so i feel like answering these assumption videos could kind of give you guys a little bit of intake on who i really am because i posted a q a like probably over two years ago going around two years ago and I have changed since then so it's like doing this assumption video kind of gives you guys a little bit intake on who I am in my Q&A video I did say I was going to college that was two years ago but change of heart you know a lot of stuff have been happening a lot of stuff been going on so I changed my mind so your girl is dabbling in real estate my family does real estate so I'm dabbling in real estate I'm dabbling in entrepreneurship I have a business venture that's coming out pretty pretty soon so I hope you guys stay tuned and I can't wait for the lunch like it's gonna be so epic and I hope you guys you know support your girl and show your girl some love and um college was in my route it was like I used to love school like I'm not gonna recap I used to love school but when it got to like the end of my 11th grade year going into my senior year I was like it's no way that I could do another four years. Like, even though college, you know, you have more freedom. But it was, like, the academics, like, I was really good in the academics. It was, like, I was tired of it. Like, I didn't want to do it anymore. I was, like, after this year, I'm done. Like, there's no way I can go to college and stuff like that. In which I had, like, a lot of, like, colleges that I was going to, like, you know, apply for. It was a lot of, um, I had a high GPA. Like, it was, like, really, really good. But... You know, it's all in God's plan. Everything gonna work out in God's plan. So, you assume, right, I am not going to college. But I feel like it would be, like, kind of cool to, you know, go there for a year. And just don't go back at all. You know, just to see for the experience. You know, just for the experience, you guys. That wouldn't hurt. So, 
I don't know, maybe one day I'll go to college for a year and see how it be. But for now, college is a no for me. I ain't seeing college and college ain't seeing me, but I might go for a year. You never know, so be on the lookout. I might be on your campus. <laughs> okay, so the next assumption is I'm quiet. I'm not quiet at all. In school, I'll be quiet if I didn't know you, but if you know me and I know you, I'm not quiet at all. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna talk, especially if I mess with you for real and I know you that I'm gonna talk. I'm just gonna talk, 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 talk. But if I don't know you, then I'm gonna be quiet, of course, because I don't know you. But if you know me and I know you, I got a big mouth. So what are we gonna do about that mouth? That big mouth. So yeah. So the last one is you cut people off easily. Yes, that is true. Like I feel like in life it's like certain stuff you should tolerate and certain stuff that you should tolerate and certain stuff that you don't should tolerate. And at my age, well not even just at this age, because I feel like during the panoramic I seen a lot of people true colors and I cut a lot of people off. So I was like what 16 at the time. So even at that age, like I cut a lot of people off easily because like I already told y'all, I'm big on loyalty. If you're not loyal to me or like, you know, if you just like just doing stuff that I feel like it's just like why I'm even like cool with you for, I'm gonna cut you off. Like no questions asked. It's like I don't give second chances because like you should never mess up the first chance. So yes, I'm easy to cut anybody off. If you do something that I don't like, snip, snip. Like you can cut. Like I don't give people second chances because I feel like you mess up the first time, you're gonna mess up again, and you're gonna mess up again, you're gonna mess up again, you're gonna mess up again. And I'm the type of person I'm really forgiving. Like I give, I forgive a lot of people. Like people be doing some like, well, people can do something really messed up, and like I be like forgiving them. What I used to like forgive people for doing messed up things to me, but I'm at the age to where like. I'm really maturing and I'm becoming to be in my prime and it's like I don't have time for it. anybody doing any type of wishy washy things to me, people being bogus towards me, people just being who they really is getting cut off like cut off and that's what anything friendship wise, anything wise, like if I don't like something, you're getting cut. That's just that on that. I don't like this assumption like who do y'all think I am like I'm just some bougie stuck up chick that only date people for what they have like no the assumption is I don't even want to say this out loud the assumption is you only date dudes for their money I don't even want to answer that question like I, well I'm going to say let me just say this no I don't and I'm not afraid you get even too like too much in detail with it because like no I'm not like that I'm not no gold digger I don't date people for what they have so let's just make that clear I'm not gonna even get too deep into it because I feel disrespected like who do y'all think I am like I'm just some type of gold digger chick which I'm not like I don't date people for what they have so let's just get that straight and I'm not afraid to tell y'all what I date or what I look for in a dude because y'all just really disrespected me. Like, I'm just the type of gold digger. So, we're just going to go on. And we're just going to end the video at that because, uh-uh, we ain't finna, we ain't finna, this ain't that. This ain't that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I answered some of you guys' assumptions. That was kind of like a crazy assumption, the last one. But the rest of them were like pretty good in what I actually get in real life some of you guys assumptions were repetitive so I just did the ones that was most repetitive and then the last one which was I felt disrespected so that is the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn that post notification bell so you guys are notified whenever you girl posts make sure you guys are like comment and subscribing it helps my channel so I can know what you guys like what you guys don't like what I should do, what should I improve, what should I take away. Make sure you guys are commenting down below and let me know what you guys think about my video or this video. Make sure you guys look in that icon so you guys can see what video I posted before this one so you guys can go ahead and watch. And remember what I always say, count checks, never stress, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.